like an authority figure like on air to, to make matches and stuff. Usually we just we just talk about them and the, the graphic pops up and the, the music and all. Um, but I wanted to, you know, after Double or Nothing and and uh, MJF comes out trying to get the rub from from Brett. Um, yeah, I wanted to yeah, I wanted to do a match at Fighter with MJF. Uh, smack the stupid little unibrow off his face. Yeah, no, you know, he definitely does have a unibrow. Yeah, can you... It, Sorry, man, the phone's breaking up. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Yeah, it's a freaking junk. Can you hear me? It's a freaking jungle. Jungle? You, am I losing my loose? Oh, you want jungle, boy? Are we good? Are, can you hear? Is, is the match good? We're good to go? It's booked. All right, cool. Thanks, man. Right on the wall, the roller coaster. Look at you, just king of the crossroads, right here in the Highwood halls of my school. God, look at you, Adonis. Mr. Um, Maxwell Jacob Friedman, sir. I'm just. What I tell you about making eye contact with me, you little shit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I, I just wanted to say that I'm, I'm not too sure that the owners of the school would be too happy about having a giant Cody Rhodes poster on the wall. I'm just. Not too sure. You know what, buddy? You're absolutely. I mean, what was I thinking? Just, just putting up the greatest wrestler of all time in our school without anybody's permission? I mean, that is absolutely ludicrous. I mean, I'm crazy. Aren't I just, aren't I just crazy for thinking this was a good idea? I didn't even ask. You know what, man? No, look at me. Look at me, little buddy. I'm sorry. This was wrong. This was truly wrong of me. How about we talk about this over some ice cream, huh? I ice cream? You yeah, mean, yeah, ice cream? yeah, yeah, ice cream, what? buddy. Go get some ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah. the graphics say Jungle Boy? I asked specifically for MJF. Can you, am I still breaking up? Can you not even hear me? Is there, it sounds, I, something's going on there, some kind of havoc. It's ha havoc? Oh, you want havoc. Can you, look, at the match MJF, okay? Just fix it, okay? Consider fix it, it booked. You and Jimmy Havoc. Freaking double or nothing, man? How soft? How good is that show? Oh my god, I'm selling a high, huh? Unbelievable. Oh my man. god, dude, what was your favorite part? My favorite part? Yeah. Favorite part of the night. Oh, my. 
My bad. Oh. Can I, can I tell you something? Yeah. You gotta shh. I'm here in uh, beautiful Maui with my family on vacation. I just saw that the news is out about the Young Bucks returning to HOG Hog Wrestling, uh, where we were actually the very first tag team champions. We're excited that uh, we'll be coming back on August 9th. We'll be doing a meet and greet and we'll be wrestling. Uh, and it quite possibly will be our final professional wrestling appearance at an independent wrestling show, maybe ever. So we're extremely excited to get in the ring one more time and uh, we'll see you in the New York City area on August 9th. Ladies and gentlemen, August 31st, Chicago, Sears Center, the building where it all began. AEW presents All Out. And tickets are about to go on sale. And I'll be the first to admit, with ticketing on sales, press conferences, and ticketing times in the past, mistakes have been made. Who can forget what happened with All In? I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the fact that at the double or nothing pool party, I guaranteed those in attendance plus all those viewing at home that they would get tickets and the math really didn't add up. You can literally go on allelitewrestling.com and I can almost guarantee each and every one of you will get some tickets. Yeah. But this time is different. I want you to be prepared. I want you to have all the information, for starters. Fan-friendly price points, just like with Double or Nothing. The most expensive seat in the house is 190 bucks. The cheapest seat is 30 bucks. But that is not the most important thing. The number one thing you need to know is when these tickets go on sale. And they go on sale this Friday, June 14th at noon Eastern. It's 11 Central, that's 9 Pacific, June 14th, noon Eastern. With that information, folks, I can guarantee no, that you- No, you can't guarantee it. With the information I've given you, noon Eastern, June 14th, I can almost guarantee no, that you- No, you said that last time. Noon. Good luck. BTA Mailbag, where the cast might just answer all your questions. 
Hey guys, it's CD and uh, from the BTE mailbag, DZ Rascal asks, when was the aha moment you realized, holy crap, I get to do this for a living? Well, all of us have a different answer, but for me personally, um, my aha moment was around April, May, 1999. Um, I was working at Walt Disney um, Imagineering, which is the branch of Walt Disney that deals with the uh, theme parks. I was working on the loading dock as a mail guy. And um, that's actually the last job, uh, civilian job that I had, um, where that was like my main source of income. And so April, May of 1999, they were always cool with letting me go do weekend tours and stuff like that. But um, I went to them and I told them that I had to go to Puerto Rico for a week. I had to go to Japan for a month. Um, I had some other like domestic bookings. And uh, so I remember being in the office with uh, my manager and he said to me, um, CD, you can go and do those jobs, those, those tours, but when you come back, I'm gonna have to have someone else doing your job. Um, Cause basically it was like almost a month and a half straight where I was gonna be gone. So um, that was the moment I put in my notice. I said, thank you, we shook hands. And that was the last civilian job I had. And um, I walked out of there and I said to myself, holy crap, I get to do this for a living. <sighs> this is Sammy Guevara, the best ever. And uh, right now you are going to be watching me answer a question for BTE Mailbag. Um, this question comes from at Mysterio. I had to write that down because I'm using my phone to record right now. But uh, Mysterio asks, what is the significance with the panda bear? And by the panda bear, he means the panda. I wore to the ring at Double or Nothing. If you look at my gear, there's a lot of pandas in the crotch area. Hashtag panda crotch. A simple answer is, it's my favorite animal. And, um, you know, everything I do in wrestling, I try to incorporate things that I like. My, uh... My theme song used to be I Am Jesus from the movie Get Him to the Greek, if you guys remember that movie, simply because I really enjoyed that movie. And uh, so basically everything I do, I want a piece of Sammy Guevara there so then you know it's authentic and it's real, you know. I really am Sammy Guevara in real life, so why not incorporate my real life into my wrestling life and just make them one thing, basically. Okay, well, thank you guys. That was BT Mailbag. I don't really know how I'm supposed to end this. Nick didn't tell me how to end this, so, uh, bye! Is it over? Stop. You son of a bitch! You give me one good reason I'm wrestling Jimmy Havoc. What the hell sense does that make? Okay? I, I, I'm asking for MJF at Fighter Fest, okay? I don't know what to do, man. I already booked those guys. They're expecting a big payday. Well, it's not my fault you've already booked them. Uh, oh, you know what? I have an idea. What? Why don't we just book them all? Okay, fine. Fine. If, you, if we have to do that, fine. Okay? We'll do a four-way. Hey, I gotta go. I got some weird mail. It says Lucha's question mark, question mark. It's already halfway open. It's very strange. All right, bye. Lucha's question mark. DVD player. Do we have a, do we have a DVD player? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is BT. This should work. No. What about this? Let's try, let's try this. Amigo! There we go. Yes, amigo! I'm here, yeah. Here, John. Necesito verte. I, I, I didn't see you, bro. What are you talking about? Sí, claro. What the heck? Yeah, tengo. I'm going to go to the person who is 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 going to go to the person I don't understand the Spanish, so I have no clue what they said. Never look back, no, never say die. 
Hey, did you like that video? Click the screen for more. And where do you think you're going? Before you check out our official merchandise page found at ProWrestlingTees.com slash YoungBucks. And to support the entire cast, you can visit ProWrestlingTees.com slash AEW. And thanks so much for being the elite. The elite. The, the elite. What, Nick, you're not going to sing it all with me this time? <laughs>